I decided it was time I move on up from soda cans to pork and bean cans. So here we are with a bigger 300 volt power supply and my latest coil and we're going to shoot a soda bean can. Soda bean. <laughs> pork and bean can here as soon as I can get things set up. Okay, we got a pen propping up the coil. I'm getting snow in my picture, which probably means there's enough light. I don't know what to do to get more light. So anyways, we'll zoom in a little bit maybe. And get ready to fire and see if we can shoot the soda can. Well, we've penetrated into the can, but not through it. But definitely put a hole in the can. So let's try it again. But this time I want to see if there's a way I can get so I can hit the can higher. catalog was good for something other than toilet paper. Okay. Maybe I need to tilt the camera up a little bit too. And here we go again. Back at the pork and beans. Tore a nasty hole in it, but I didn't go through it. But somebody says I need to watch my recoil and my range, so we'll look into doing that. Reduce the range, coil is very hot. And try again. Fire three. All right. Once again. Another hole in the pork and bean can, but we're not through. Set the nail just so inside the coil. And uh, pull the uh, coil down while I fire. Didn't make any difference. Another hole in the can. Now here's another idea. We make it so the can can't move. And point blank range. And fire again. Oops, we're at a hole. Here we got a point spot where there's no holes in the can. Still, it doesn't go through. It goes most of the way in, but doesn't go through. So there we are, test firing our latest coil gun. Thank you for watching my test firings.